Hello again, it's Teacher Leif for Mathematics Time. Now, we have arithmetic sequence, means of, arith means of arithmetic sequence. Now, we are going to look for the sum of an arithmetic sequence. So, we have here sum of an arithmetic sequence. If we deal with sum, obviously, we are adding the terms in a given sequences. For example, here, I have... Find the sum of each finite sequence below. 1, 4, 7, 10. If we are going to find the sum, obviously, we are going to add 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 7 is 12 plus 10 is 22. So we have the 22 and so on. If you are going, if you are asked to find for the sum, obviously you have to add. The next number two, what is the sum of 3, 5, 7, 9, 11? So you have 35. And the next one, what is the sum of the given sequence? You have here negative 15 and so on. How about if we do not have finite sequence? For example, you have here number 4, 2, 5, 8, 11. We are asked to find for the first 20 terms. Are we going to list down all the terms, all 20 terms together? Then we are going to add. It will be taxing. For example, we are we are using calculator and we missed one. Then we will be having a wrong answer then. So we have a formula for getting the sum of an arithmetic sequence. Actually, it is taken from the... It is also taken from the formula for an arithmetic sequence and also... We have now the, the sum, if we are going to add this one, a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 and so on. Now, the sum of a given arithmetic sequence is given as s of n. s stands for the sum of an arithmetic sequence. s of n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity 2 a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times your common difference. So, we have now your sum. We can compute for the sum of an arithmetic sequence using the formula. Always remember, s of n is equal to n all over 2 times the quantity 2 a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times your common difference. So, may I have the given example there, 5, 9, 13, 17. We are asked to find for the sum of the first 10 terms. So, sum of the first 10 terms. Me, I have the screen now so that we can have it more bigger. Then, there you have it. So, sum of the first 10 terms. What is the formula for a sum again? You have S of N is equal to N all over 2 times you have 2 A sub 1 plus the quantity N minus 1 times our common Difference. So, we just substitute our S of N. We are looking for the sum of the first 10 terms. So, our N is 10 divided by 2. So, we have here 2. What is our first term? It's 5. Then plus, what is our N again? It's 10 minus 1 is 9 times our common difference. So, we have now the sum of the first 10 terms is equal to... 5 times 2 times 5 is 10 plus 9 times what is our common difference again? Our common difference is 4. So multiply it by 4. So we have sum of the first 10 terms is equal to 5 times 10 plus you have here 36. So, we have S of 10 is equal to 5 times 10 plus 36 is 46. Then, sum of the first 10 terms we have here times 46 times 5 is... Uh, so, you have 46 times 5. The answer will be there. This is 3. You have... 230. 
So, the sum of the first 10 terms of a given sequence is 230. So, this is how to solve for the sum of a given arithmetic sequence. But what if your question is, what if it is not divisible by 2, your n is not divisible by 2, you just continue using n, afterwards, your final answer, just simplify it in our final answer. You just carry on. For example, it's 9 over 2, so you just carry on 9 over 2, and you know how to multiply fractions. Numerator by numerator over denominator by denominator. So, it is how to solve for the sum of an arithmetic sequence. Now, I guess you are ready for the next or for the other type of sequences. See you again on our next session. Good day, everyone.